Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video we're going to look at uh, the game mode blueprints in Unreal. Um, so this is part of a series, uh, a fairly short series of uh, videos that I'm doing, uh, looking at what I call the essential blueprints. So these are uh, blueprints that uh, Unreal has to have some version of in order to, to run. Uh, and mostly, uh, these this is done by using default versions, um, but sometimes in templates you'll find that they're, uh, they are overridden uh, for some reason, uh, usually because they've got some settings they want to change. But uh, the, the, part, the point of doing this is because you can actually override them yourself um, and create new versions, which, which then are put in place of the uh, default version. Uh, to do something different. Um, so, uh, as I say, in this case, we're going to look at uh, game mode. Now, you may have noticed, if you've been following these videos through, that uh, game mode appears uh, when you go into the um, maps and modes in the settings. Let's go and have a quick look at that. So I'm going to do edit project settings and let's zoom in to have a look here. So in the maps and modes here, um, and so in previous videos in this series, we've dealt with the player controller, but that's, um, you may have noticed that's within the default game mode on, or selected game mode here. Um, and there are several things here that are within that. Another one that we dealt with was quite a lot lower down, which was the game instance, which we had in the last um, video. And in fact, I've left the game instance that I created in that video in place. Um, and inside the game mode here, we, um, we've, the only one that we've played with is the player controller class, where we've put our own controller in. And uh, let me just kind of show you the setup of what we've got in this project at the moment, uh, which is we've got a, a slightly modified um, third-person template. And in fact, I've got two maps. This is the second of the maps, uh, which I've called new map, which has some alterations to the standard map. There is also the standard map in this project, which you can get to by going into third person. Uh, not in the blueprints, fairly obviously in maps. There we go, the third person map. Um, so why not, let's load that one up now. Uh, let's have a look at that. Um, and uh, so let's quickly play here. Uh, we create a, uh, a character and we've got, um, because of our, uh, new player controller uh, that we created. If I press the E key, we switch avatar, and that's why there's the second avatar in there. I'm using both the male and female avatars. We've also got um, pads that we can stand on to change between one level and the next. When you change level, you go back to the default female avatar, um, and uh, stand on and go back. And you can probably see uh, at the top left, we've got the timer from the game instance class ticking away there. All right. So what we're actually going to do before we can demonstrate modes really effectively is we're going to create a um, a second controller. Actually, I've already done it. So um, as well as the My Controller, which when you press E, switches avatar, I've created my other controller, which uh, has just got a little script in it. Is And again, it's... Um, connected to the E key, uh, but all it's going to do is it's going to jump the character that you're controlling forwards by a little bit. Um, so let's uh, let's plug that in and show you. So um, I've shown you how to do this out there in previous videos in the maps and modes. There's actually a shortcut to some of these settings uh, up here in the uh, where you get hold of the level blueprint. Um, and so in the project settings, so we've got two uh, things here which are to do with mode. So we've got the project settings mode, which does it uh, sets it for all of the levels, but we can override that with specifics for this particular um, uh, for this particular level that we're in. So we're going to uh, go into the uh, the standard settings and just change the player controller from my controller to Select player controller class, come on, fly around down here. My other controller. Um, and zoom out and 
Uh, hopefully Bob's your uncle when I press the E key we just teleport forward slightly and it detects if you end up on top of something and uh, moves you up because it's um, relatively intelligent and that persists across the two different levels that we've got uh, there we go um, but what we actually uh, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make it so that in one of these levels the switching avatar control works and in the other level the jumping forwards control works and we do this by having different game modes that we're going to use in the different levels uh, so uh, what we need to do to start off with then is to create a new uh, game mode now so we've, i've right clicked in the content area i'm creating a blueprint class and i'm going to do game game mode is uh, the thing that we're deriving from um, you can derive from the game mode base I've not tried that which is a lower level uh, than the game mode I'm going to do, derive from the standard game mode here uh, and select that um, and I'm going to call it my mode why not and uh, if we open that it actually looks just like a blueprint uh, editor and I don't know what happens if you start putting uh, items in this um, because I don't think this has a physical presence in the world uh, but it seems to think that you can put stuff in the viewport uh, which I've not played with however on the right hand side here now you need to make sure that you've got class defaults uh, set here because you look at class settings and these things disappear so if you use well, let's use the zoom again use the class defaults button on the right hand side here you get this list that you've uh, that you've seen previously um, and we want to switch the player controller class to be my other controller and um, we want to also uh, switch the default pawn class because this the one that we've been using uh, is actually not the standard game state it's a third person game state for this template which sets up which pawn you're using and let's um so let's put in the bp third person character uh, there which is the the pawn that we want to use uh, so let's zoom out again i will compile that um and what else do we need to do i'm going to go back to the third person map and change the project defaults back to using the um the controller being the uh my controller it seems to be a long chain of things you need to go down that way up to my controller um there we go so at the moment we're not using this new mode that we created we're still using the um the third person character mode i've changed the settings so that we're back to uh switching the um the avatar when we press e there we go and if we go into the other world that's still working as the consistent behavior um, and what we want to do is in the in the second world which is the new world uh change the game mode that's being used within that world so we're going to open that up for edit come on that doesn't seem to want to edit for some reason well there we go sometimes problems with my mouse clicks um, and then we're going to go back in up here at the top right uh sorry top left to the um to these this drop down and we're going to do um world override so that's uh, you're going to override which mode you're going to use for this particular world and uh, i'm going to move to select game mode base class and instead of using the bp third person game mode i'm going to use my mode so that should just do it when we're in that uh world and uh hopefully let's see what happens so we're still in uh so we're still editing new map let's go back to the default map so we can see it from there which is where we where we normally start 
and third person map. Save selected and play. Right, so, and I press E, we're switching avatar. And when we go stand on the pad, we'll move to the other world, which looks very similar, of course, but there's a few changes. When I press E here, I'm doing the slide forwards. So this is because we're using a different game mode, and plugged into that game mode is uh, the particular controller we're using. So we've got two controllers in play. There are other things, obviously, in there. I've only shown this using the controller. Um, if we go back into the My Mode and the editing for this, just click on Class Defaults and come down the right-hand side. Um, so uh, there are things like, as, as you saw, I had to change the default pawn class there back to the one we're using. There's the class used for spectators. There's the HUD class. Um, we'll talk about HUD in, um, in a series of videos to come. Uh, the, the, the session class and state class and stuff. So some of these, in fact, most of these, I don't actually know how to use and what they're for. Um, but I do know that, uh, so if you wanted a different pawn and you created one, you could, um, you could put that in. And in fact, we could probably fairly easy fairly easily do it so that we've got a, a copy of the third person character which uses the male uh, avatar rather than the female avatar um, or a different avatar entirely so that when you load into a different level it uses the game mode uh, switches the game mode and switches you into a different avatar uh, but I've not tried that so I'm not going to try it live um, one thing I did go looking for was is it possible to change game mode whilst you're in uh, the same level and I took for a while and didn't seem to find any way of doing so um, so uh, I'm guessing that that's uh, not possible and if you want to be able to change the mode of the controls that you're using you probably need to do something else that's clever um, like switch on elements of your controller or off different elements um, but I hope that gives you an idea of what the game mode is. Um, it's something that kind of sets some uh, sets some particular classes up, um, and it can be reused in. You can have one mode that you use in several levels, but it can be set at level <coughs> per level uh, which um, which game mode that you're using. So that's it from me for now.